Ah, ha, ha. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. Okay. Back to topic, shall we? It's a brand new day, no time to waste. Let the birds be your body, sunshine your face. I smile and wave, but my eyes are late. To the party that you started with your childish grace. It's a brand new day, no time to waste. Let the birds Hey, be what's up, guys? It's Soul Phantom. And yes, I know, it is I, the one and only cyberbully of the internet. Okay, I'm just kidding. Hopefully, you all are enjoying the beginning of 2019, because I know, it's a major disaster. But the good news is, is that we have PewDiePie still around. Bitch, lasagna, bitch, lasagna. Say nothing but a bitch, lasagna. Ah, PewDiePie, what can we ever do without you? And T-Series. But that's not what the video is about, because today we're going to be covering an ASMR channel. Now, I know for some of you who are living under a rock thinking to yourself saying, well, Phantom, what does ASMR stand for exactly? Well, to answer your question, according to Google, ASMR just basically stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response, which is actually is a kind of a cool name, actually, which there's a couple of triggers, which includes things like you know, whispering voices like <laughs> paper tearing, like, you know, tearing paper apart, and a scalp massage, which you've probably have seen videos like that on YouTube when it came to ASMR where, you know, you have like the, the massaging thing with uh, the, the person whenever they do it in the video. It's, it's kind of strange, actually. I don't even know why people do those things. And... But it, it gets a little interesting when you think about it. Now, this particular ASMR channel that I told you I was going to cover is going by the name of Morpheus ASMR. And this man was only at 1,000 subscribers just almost a month ago when he did a video just three weeks ago doing a 1,000 subscriber celebration. And at the time he's doing this video, he is currently standing at around 240,000 subscribers, which kind of does surprise me since he's one of the fastest growing YouTube channels in the ASMR community as of right now. Now. Oh, and one fact about Morpheus, did you know that almost all of his fans in the comment section call this man cute? Yeah, that fun fact about him, I'm not gonna deny, but that doesn't mean we'll stop from here, because I'm gonna try and watch one of his videos titled ASMR Eating Moshi Ice Cream for the First Time, and we're gonna give it a shot at watching it. So grab some popcorn, sit back, relax, and get your US Army helmets on, and let's start in 3, 2, 1. Roll it. Hi everyone, welcome back. So it looks like we're off to a pretty good start. And I also like the way how he does his intro because it really satisfies me. Like literally satisfies me. Also quick reminder for the video, I actually had to turn up the volume on his video just a little bit just so you can actually hear what he's saying. Because I know in the original video, it's really, really quiet. Like, like extremely almost really quiet, but you can actually literally hear his voice. So we'll just keep going. I'm not sure if we'll do the entire video, but we'll at least do half of his response of that video so let's just keep going well i already tried the moshi and i went out i was just looking at this it doesn't actually say moshi on these now hold on morpheus if you're saying that's moshi ice cream then how would it not have no name on the packaging did they falsely like gave you something that probably wasn't even the thing you're looking for or was this just out of proportion or something i don't know some grocery stores don't even put no names on things sometimes so you never know what you're really gonna get i mean unless if you're trying to buy something like that off ebay or something and actually had no name on it that would be so untrue and so on and so forth but most of the times they usually put names on packaging and I know this for a fact because you know I've been to an actual store before and they always put names on them and if they weren't to put no name on it they would probably get fired anyways this is strawberry flavored rice cakes kaboto ishigo dafuko dafuko something like that anyways I had them in a storage bag I don't know how long I don't know if I should freeze those but anyways I went out they actually have a Mochi, Mochi website, and it'll tell you where you can find Moshi in your area. Well, I thought Moshi or what was ice cream, and then I went back to thinking that maybe it was just a flavor, that it was the same as this, but it was Moshi ice cream flavor. 
dollars or something. I don't know why, but I went to the local grocery store that it was supposed to be available in. But I went into the gluten-free aisle. I thought it was that. I started thinking about these again, and it didn't dawn on me for some reason. So, my only explanation to what Morpheus is actually saying in his words, well, maybe to me how I'm able to translate it, is that both stores, or even both the website and the store, I don't know why I said both stores, was they got him completely confused when he went to the Gluidson place, because, you know, I mean, that's where you usually get all the, you know, ice cream, candy stuff, you know, that sort of thing. I don't know much about that stuff, but that's my only way of really explaining, like, what Morpheus is trying to say in the way of how I'm able to understand it better. So, I guess we'll just keep going with the response we'll probably just fast forward so we can get to the part where he actually eats them and we're gonna see what's inside those moshi ice creams <laughs> Oh boy, more cringe. Here we come. Okay, I'm just kidding. I, I don't think it's gonna be that cringy. Come on. I mean, if someone does try to think I'm a cyber bully for it, then how are they gonna prove me wrong if there's no evidence to actually back up those claims? So, you're kind of just wasting your time if you're trying to call me a cyber bully for it. I'm just responding to his video what I actually have my thoughts on for it. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like I said before, he is a really good YouTuber after all. Probably one of the best ASMR YouTubers I've actually ever seen. I mean, his quality's good and you know, he he actually has really improved. But anyhow, let's just keep going. Alright, so what I want to do is cut this open. Okay, here we go. Cut that open. Now, okay. It, it is ice cream. Is it a rice ice cream? So that's what's inside that one. Can we get closer to that one? So, are they all? So I think this, wait a minute. I don't know what this one is. That's the, uh, that's the pink one. Is, um, well, the good part is he wasn't actually false advertised for actually eating these. Because let's be real here, they are really mushy after all, aren't they? Okay, that's enough messing around for now. And I'm sure someone's gonna stumble across this video and go, Oh no, it's a cyber bully. Ah. Oh no, I'm scared. Run away from the cyber bully. Now, I'm sure if his fans ever sent this video to Morpheus, Morpheus, if you're watching this video, I just want you to know I'm not really trying to make fun of you or nothing. I think you're pretty cool. And hopefully, I, I hope I get those mushy ice creams. Hopefully, you can send them to my address at this address. That is literally my address. Now, my thoughts about Morpheus' YouTube channel, I think so far it's really good, but most of his videos, just all of it has to do with, like, foods and stuff. I do think he does need to do a different variety types of a genre when it comes to ASMR. Like, I, he could try to do a roleplay one, but I'm not really sure how that would really play out. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see what the future of his channel will ever hold upon. Now, out of every other ASMR YouTube channel that I've seen for over the last couple of months, if I could actually give a rating for Morpheus and his ASMR YouTube channel, then it would have to be an 8 out of 10, which is actually is a really good thing, actually, because, I mean, he still has great quality. I just think he needs to have a, a different like, variety of genre when it comes to, like, doing ASMR videos, like, you know, role plays or something, or maybe just, like, in, in a different, like, scenario way. I don't know. I mean, that's just me, I guess, you know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section down below.
below with what you guys think. But anyhow, that wraps up the whole video. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, you can make sure to subscribe because I'll be making more content within the meantime. And by the way, turn on that notification bell. This is Soul Phantom rolling out. Adios. Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time, man. Killing the game and I gotta go ask